Hello and welcome to this new touch designer tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create a wave effect or just adding a noise on the picture that you have on your screen uh, by using your hands with your keynet. I'm going to show you. So let's start the project. We actually don't have to delete all the operators that are on our desktop. We can just delete the geometry. We keep the outs. We keep the displays. We can connect it to the outs. We need the, the candies here. And then we also need the chop, the chop tool top and basically uh, what we are going to do is like um, transforming the movements uh, of our kinect of our hands into a trail so to get like uh, something similar to this uh, curve noise curve and then transform it to chop to top and then yeah applying this to the uh, image through our displays but first of all we want to grab our kinect Close these paths so that we have a little bit more space and <clears throat> we add two selects copy and paste select both connect it to the Kinect and the first one we want to have like just the right hand and just the Y values we can also pick the X according to the movement that we want to use for creating the effect but i like more going on the y-axis so and we can also give a name here it's like the left hand so we will name it to left also here i can call it left hand and here it's like our right hand and the name is going to be right so now we want to apply first the limit and this because I don't want to go like close to the floor and up to the ceiling to create my way. But I want basically have my hands close to my hip and not getting any displays, like any wave on my image. So to do so, I add a type of limit that is a clamp and I want that the minimum is 0.1. And maximum is one so under the 0.1 my hand when it's close to the hip um, yeah the movements of my hand when they are like under the 0.1 they are not uh, gonna affect the image perfect and now we are gonna apply the trail chop to trail our movements so and yeah I can call it right and I apply this to the chop to top same thing, I'm gonna copy and paste here. And now that I copy and paste, I can delete this connection. Click outside so that I just select the limit and I connect the left hand. Now I need like another chop to top. I can just copy and paste this, go down. I drag my left to the chop to top. And now I have like, if I'm gonna move my hands, we can see that something is happening in my um, chop to top. And now I'm gonna show you, maybe I'm gonna also grab like a Kinect top here. I add a view. So we can actually check that something is happening in my top. All right, and so what now we, what we want to do is actually applying a crop, two crop actually. So we add the crop here, one crop, 
second one here here so and this crop is going to feed the displays so we copy also this displays here and instead of the first chop to top we're gonna add like the second one from the left end and then we add also the crop image now we have to crop so how do we crop so basically what we want to do is like okay the right hand is going to control this part so we cut half of the picture and also we want to cut the other half of the picture here but not with the left part with the right part so that we have both and now we need a composite but yeah by using this composite actually we won't get the result we want exactly so first we need like first of all to transform and what what does it mean this transform basically what we did with the crop is getting half of the image the incoming image so uh, since we want to paste both um, parts that we call cut that we cropped basically uh, this is gonna be half of the final picture so what we need to do is actually first of all scale 0.5 and when we scaled, then we can translate it of 0 0.25. Also, here we need a um, resolution. Since we cropped our resolution, so the beginning in the beginning the resolution was 1280 per 720, and with the crop, it's of course the half, so it's 640 per 720. But now. When we apply this transform actually we want the resolution to be again the same of the original one so we want that our resolution is going to be like 1280 per 720 so now we have half of the image here we need to do the same thing for our um, for the part controlled by the left hand so here this place here and then we have to add a minus here and now we can actually do an add composite and we have our full image basically add our out here And now I'm gonna go in front of the Kinect and we see what's happening. So So go in front of the Kinect. Right hand, left hand. So pretty good. The only thing is that we need a flip, of course. On our right hand and here we need a flip top this flip top is gonna be on our X axis so that when we move our right hand the movement the weight is gonna go from the center from the middle of the image to the boundaries so yeah let's do it again right hand from the middle and left hand from the middle and now together so now comes the last thing to do and we are going to go into our composites operator common page we're going to the output aspect we click on custom aspect and then we transform the aspect to 16 per 9 and then we have like the same resolution of um, the incoming picture and yeah that's all